Greetings and salutations you guys, Hayden here, welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Today, it's gonna be a haul video slash also a preview video of what's gonna be for sale in our next live sale. Um, and yeah, I, I unfortunately did not film inside the store when I went in. I totally forgot any of my filming gear with me. Uh, I had my glasses, like my filming glasses, but they died and then I was just like, ugh, it's cool. We're just gonna check it out and see what we can find. It was Easter today when I went out and most of the stores were closed. So, um, but this one was open so I was very excited. We went to Eco Town, super fun. And I got some pretty cool stuff. So let me share with you guys what I ended up getting. I don't even know what to start off with. Let me just start off with the these, okay. So I got this for my nephew, Zachary. He has been wanting, I think it's called like fisherman hats, an orange fisherman hat and like this, Bright orange is his favorite color. So I was very excited to have found this over there. This was only five bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, the, there's no brand or anything. Well, it got cut out, so I don't know what brand it is. But it doesn't really matter. It's really just the color that Zach wants. And he didn't want like any other like designs and stuff on it, which is kind of hard to find. But the stars aligned. We found it, five bucks. Fantastic. He's gonna be very excited, so. Zachary Binks, that one is yours. So I got him that. Okay, this was very exciting for me. <laughs> and this is the cutest shirt. I Okay, so if you have been here for any amount of time, you would know that I'm obsessed with Studio Ghibli. My favorite Studio Ghibli movies are Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, uh, Nausicaa of the Wind, um, what else? My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, but... Howl's Moving Castle, my favorite character, Calcifer. And I got a Calcifer shirt. It's so cute, it's like pretty oversized. I think it's an extra large. But I love the design. Calcifer's right there. He looks grumpy and fantastic. And I do love a striped shirt, as you guys can see. So, very exciting. And I think this is like official merch. Oh, and this is a double XL. Yeah, it's official G Studio Ghibli merch too, which is awesome. And this was $15 and it is so stinking cute. Love it. <laughs> yeah, Calcifer. Okay, so I got that shirt. Let me know if you guys are fans of Studio Ghibli. If you are, give the video a thumbs up. We stan, right? We love Howl's Moving Castle, that Loewe collaboration. So good. I'm so obsessed. So obsessed. Okay, next up, this is so adorable. This is a Charlotte Olympia little clutch pouch bag and has a little cat. If you guys are familiar with the brand Charlotte Olympia, like she kind of became famous for this like cat motif, this particular cat motif. And this is just like a little drawstring bag. You can use it as like an evening bag. Um, you can tie it up like this, put it in your arm like that or carry it like a clutch. It's super cute. This is just all leather with a gold cat print. And this opens up, it's like a magic wizard's pouch. I don't know, I love it. I think it's so cute. And the best thing is that when you open it up it inside, it is all a metallic gold. It also does come with a dust bag, super cute. But yeah, it is in like new condition, it's fantastic. And this was $30. The resale of this is usually, uh, I checked it on, I checked on it's like around 200 something dollars for resale. So I think we got a good deal on this guy. Really fun and just a great little pouch, you know? So cute. Okay, so we got, our little Charlotte Olympia pouch. Then we got a ton of sunglasses. And, oh, this one, it was the empty case. Okay, we got a ton of sunglasses. Let me show you guys the sunglasses that we got. It was like literally a raining designer sunglasses. It was insane. And I think we got some really good ones. I know a lot of you guys have been loving the sunglasses that I've been finding. And I have been on the hunt for them. You guys don't even know. I'm just like checking everywhere, looking for some awesome sunglasses for spring and summer. Cause it is sunny now, finally here in Southern California. It finally has stopped raining. It's been raining forever, I feel like. And like last week, dark, rainy, crazy and this past week it's just been sunny and beautiful and it, i've just it's also getting warmer this is um a pair of oh these are givenchy sunglasses these are so cute i love them it's uh, they're like brown and then it ombres into like a blue and then a clear in the colors then it has like a gray lens it kind of matches the shirt 
These are pretty cool. I love an oversized sunglass. They're my favorite. And these are really, really awesome. These were um, $65, I believe. So cute. They just have the little Givenchy logos on the side. So it's pretty, like, discreet. It doesn't, like, have Givenchy all over it. But so nice and really, really cute. The lenses are also kind of like an ombre. Yeah, I love a large sunglass. I think they're fantastic. Okay, so there's those. They also gave me like just random cases, which was really nice because normally they don't give any cases at all unless they're inside the case with the sunglasses. These are a pair of Fendi sunglasses and these are so fabulous. I don't even know what to say. They're in black. They have like the little nose pieces and it's silver. They have little Fs on the ends and then they say Fendi on the side as well. And these are so like chic. These are not gonna look good on me because they're small. But honestly, actually, they're not too bad. They're actually kind of cool. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do I look crazy? They're definitely too, like, triangular for me. But I feel like these would look cool on a lot of people. And I actually don't hate, hate them. I just hate when my eyebrows show when I wear sunglasses because my eyebrows are kind of crooked. And I feel like it just <laughs> highlights that. But these are really, really cool. This is how they look on the side. But yeah, Fendi, I think these were like $85. So I got those. And then, oh, okay, this is good. These are a pair of Saint Laurent sunglasses. What's crazy is that I actually got the this exact pair of sunglasses, like, I wanna say about like a little over a month ago. And I actually gave them to my mom and she got her prescription put into them and they are happy. They, she loves them and she's so, so happy. Because, especially because like these sunglasses just retail are expensive enough and then to have your prescription put into them and her prescription is really high. So it, it's really expensive. I think it was like almost $500 to get her prescription put into the glasses. But she needs like, sunglasses when she's driving you know so she can see and when it's like super sunny so but now mom and i are gonna match because i was gonna keep that pair and i showed it to her and she really liked them and i was like mom those are yours just take them she got them she got her uh prescription put in them and they're fantastic but now we're twinning we are twinsies these are beautiful i love like a giant square sunglass just like the yfl is in black on the sides and yeah how do they look yes I'm trying not to keep all the sunglasses. I'm really trying not to keep them all. I want to match with mom. <laughs> so these came with the case too, which is awesome. Uh, these were 150, so they were a little expensive anyway. So if I were to resell them, they would be pretty expensive. So I'm probably just gonna keep those for myself for surezies. Then up next, this is another pair of Fendi's, and these are super cool. Another like square sunglass. Black frames, they have the F on the sides. These are so cool. I'm gonna try not to keep these two, but I really do like these. And I love how lightweight they are, uh, and I love the size of them. Oh, I'm a, such a sucker for large sunglasses, but these are so good. Okay, so these are these. These were like $120, I believe, but really nice. And then, last but not least, Another pair of Fendi sunglasses. We, I'm telling you, so many. This I actually went to some other stores and I got another pair of sunglasses. So you'll see that in another video from like another haul. But these are really, I'm trying to not keep these also. These also came with a case, which is awesome. And these are some really cool Fendi aviators. And I'm a, such a sucker for aviators. Um, they do say Fendi on the side, like really, like they're like etched in, but they have the little F cutouts on the sides as well. And what's cool is this is blue up top and then it says Fendi and has like the nose piece. Oh, these are fun. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to keep these too. <laughs> oh man, okay. Um, Okay, three out of six isn't bad, right? I don't know. I just like to keep them maybe for like a hot second sometimes. And then if I end up not wearing them, I'll sell them. But these were also a little um, pricier as well. These were like 1D-ish. But I, I really like these. Really cool. So glasses are just so expensive sometimes. I am just traumatized from my youth because growing up, it was so hard to find sunglasses that fit me. Even the sunglasses that I had did not actually fit me properly. And then now, 
in my adulthood, I've been finding so many amazing sunglasses and at such really good prices. Like, I'm just like hoarding them because I remember a time when no sunglasses fit me. And finally, I'm able to find some that do and I'm just like, I gotta hold on to them for dear life. But these are so nice. I think I actually will keep these. Especially, ex Aviators too are like my favorite type of sunglasses. Um, especially because I feel like Aviators tend to be a little bit lighter than other sunglasses. And sunglasses that are too heavy when they're on my nose, I feel like they just cave in my nostrils and I already have hard enough time breathing as it is because I always have like, I have like chronic allergies. I can, I can ever only breathe through like one nostril at like 50% most of the time. So uh, especially during this time, I can't, I can barely breathe at all because it is pollen season and like allergy season. If anyone else is like that, please let me know. What do you guys do? I literally see allergy medicine all the time. <sighs> So hard. Okay, yeah, these are cool. I'm gonna have to keep these. Okay, that's it. So those were all the sunglasses. Now this, oh, do you guys wanna see what I got? Okay, oh, I'll show that after, okay. This is the last thing that I got from that store. And this is like my new shopping bag. I think this is so fabulous. Like, <laughs> this is just, um, I believe this is called the Balenciaga Bazaar tote bag. And it's in, like this blue mesh, it's like see-through, and then it has blue leather trim. This was $200, and it's in wonderful condition. I think this is just a great like shopping bag. It doesn't have crossbody straps, nor do I believe it's supposed to have crossbody straps, but it does have these leather pieces on the side. We're gonna attach something to this to see if we can. I, I, I think I might have like D-rings or something that I can put through here and then that way I can attach a crossbody strap to this. I can, I think I can still just attach like a circle ring to this and do that too, but it might put too much stress on the leather. But even if I didn't do anything like that, just carrying this bag like this, I think is really fun. So I'm ready to go to the grocery store, farmer's market, whatever. This is just a really cool, like extra large tote bag and there you go, there's that. But let me show you guys quickly what I got from, I went to Urban Outfitters as well. This smells so good and it's like a floral, it's a rose scent, rose sativa. This is the Urban Outfitter, um, it's a roller and it has like, like an oil. It smells so good. Uh, and the smell like lasts all day. And I don't mind smelling like an old lady. I just like to smell it myself. It just is calming. I don't know why. I just really like it. It might be because my mom loves a rose scent and that's typically the scent that she wears all the time. So I, I feel like that's just like calming for me. It just like, reminds me of my mom. And yeah, it's really nice. And what's really nice too is um, layering this with like another cologne or something. And it has like the underlayer of like that rosy sweetness. And I just feel like it just, I don't know. So I got this. Um, I think I actually might give this to my mom and see. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's gonna like it. She doesn't, she's never used like a roller kind of thing like this. She's usually just like the spray perfume, but I feel like she might actually really like this. It's an oil. It feels really nice on your skin. It lasts for a pretty good amount of time too. And I don't know, let me know if you guys enjoy these. Also, what do you guys like in terms of like perfumes or colognes or whatever? Have you ever used like the oil rollers? I hear that they're supposed to last longer. I, I'm not like too knowledgeable about these kind of things. I just know what I like to smell and I know how long. Well, I don't know how long, but some last longer than others. Strength scents, or scent strengths, stuff like that. But uh, this was $26. I think it smells so, so nice. So I got that. I also purchased, <laughs> I, this is kind of like a, a novelty item, but this little pill container. Oh, I just love the way it sounds. I'm gonna put my allergy medicine in here. Chill pills to help me breathe. So I just thought it was really cute. I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, but definitely gonna fill these up with my allergy medicine and it's gonna be fantastic because sometimes I'll forget to take my allergy medicine and I'm like, oh, I don't have any with me. And I have so many pill containers too. And this one is like nice and small and tiny and it's super cute. I'm gonna want to remember to take it with me so I can see how cute it is. And yeah, so this was only $8 at Urban Outfitters. I honestly thought it was gonna be more when I saw it. I was like, oh, don't tell me this is like $25. This is like literally the cheapest thing at Urban Outfitters. So $8, so cute, very excited. Then, because I have been breaking out pretty, I have like a breakout on happening on my nose right now. It's like not cute. I literally had a, a pimple patch on my nose right before this video and I took it off because I was like, Ugh. I got, um, I'm trying out these Mario Badescu drying patches. I've never tried these before. I have used the Mario Badescu um, facial 
products before, but never the stickers. So I usually use the, oh, I forgot the brand. These other ones, I, I've used the Star ones, and then they have another one. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope you guys had fun checking out what I got. Um, Tune in to the next live sale. I'm gonna have it linked up there and down below in the description box as well. And if you can't make it during the live sale, uh, you can always watch the replays. I leave those up for you guys to check out and you can shop from them. Items availability and pricing is gonna be in the description boxes of those videos, but it's only after the lives or the sales have gone um, live and it's like a replay. Um, also, tune in tomorrow right nearly at 7 a.m. for a new video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up too. It always does help the channel immensely. Um, welcome to the Thrift Squad if this is your first time here. Also, let me know down below in the comments. Say hi. Uh, let me know too if you guys have found anything cool recently at the Thrift because I always love hearing about your finds as well. And tune in tomorrow right nearly at 7 a.m. for a new video. All right, that's it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.